Hello everybody, how are you all? This is Ms. Sara Nahidamjad and we're gonna do some maths revision. This is the outline we're gonna learn about the concepts such as big and small, short and tall, and inside and outside. Objectives and goals. The student will be able to know how to do the comparison between things. The student will gain critical thinking skills. The students will be able to compare the concepts easily. So what is concept comparison? In concept comparison, you need to compare the two given objects. You need to see the difference among them. Moreover, it enables us to explore, compare, define and competing concepts. We have some different types of concepts. Now let's see what are they. So the first one is big and small. Now let's see what difference we got here. Hmm, I see two dinosaurs. One is yellow, one is the green one. The yellow one is the big and the green one is a small. Let's see a short video for the big and small concept. Okay, so now we're gonna see here the difference between the big and the small. Let's get started. We see here two yellow boxes. Aren't they same sizes? Of course not. So we got two objects, means that two yellow boxes. One is big and the other is small. Here we got one big flower and on the other side we got small purple flower. Now here we got one big tree whereas small plant. Here we got one big elephant whereas we got small ant. You can see a huge difference between two animals. Elephant is much bigger, whereas ant is small. So that's it for the big and small concept. Let's go further. We got another concept, which is tall and short. Tall and short. Here we will compare the heights of the objects. Now let's see. Now let's see how to compare the objects based on their height. So again we're gonna get two objects. Now if you see here we got two objects. One object is Tom as a cat. One object is Mouse as Jerry. So we're gonna compare their heights. The Tom height is much taller as compared to Jerry. If you see the height of the Jerry is too short and here the Tom's height is big. Right? So we got here one tall Tom cat. Whereas we got one Short. Yeah. If you notice, we got here tall slide because the height of the slide is more than seesaw. That's why the slide is tall. But over here, the seesaw's height is less than slide. So the seesaw is short. So that's how you check out the tall and the short based on the height of the objects. So that's it for the tall and short concept. Let's see what's next. Inside and outside. If you notice here, the girl over here is outside the rocket. She's not in, she's out. But in this side, if you notice the girl, the little girl is inside the rocket. She's not out. So do you see the difference? Here she is outside. 
here she is inside so this is the third concept that we're gonna see now if you see the girl she's inside the curtain now she's gonna be outside did you see that now the birds the baby birds are inside the nest the mother bird outside the nest inside outside now the turtle is inside its shelf whereas the turtle over here is outside its shelf if you notice here the dog is inside his house whereas the dog from the side if you see he's outside his house the girl she is inside the circus tent whereas the boy is outside the circus tent let's see one more example of the mouse over here you will see a mouse is in the house the mouse is in the house means he is inside right the mouse is in the house he is inside now the mouse is outside the house inside outside do you see the difference now over here he was in the house so we call it he is inside the house but when he came out we call it he is outside the house now look at this basket the mangoes are inside the basket whereas apples are outside the basket mangoes are inside apples are outside the mangoes are in and the apples out so that's all for the inside and outside thank you for listening the powerpoint presentation if you have any questions feel free to ask thank you have a nice day